been a beautiful day here this afternoon. Probably one of the last we're going to get this autumn. But it really has been a lovely opportunity just to come out and look at these late roses that we've got flowering here on this western facing wall. They're just poking their heads above to get some of the morning sunlight and afternoon and evening sunlight which is just setting now so still got some great bud formation on this one and the scent not as strong as it was earlier in the season from the second flush of flower but it's still looking really good my little pigeon friends are part fledged this one's just sitting on this fence I think the other one must have fledged. They've grown really well over the last seven days. Quite friendly, although I'm not going too near. They're quite used to us coming through this gateway and the disruption that causes to them with dogs and everything running past them. Luckily dogs don't tend to look up and certainly haven't got the scent off these two. He's looking very content. He'll hopefully do well. These girls are looking very content in this field now. There's some young ewes in here from last year. These are mainly established mums. And they'll be introduced to the ram, not just yet, but sometime in November, so that the lambs are born in around Easter, end of April, beginning of April. Depends, you can plan it more or less by when you introduce the ram as to when these are going to be born. They're enjoying this grass now, we've had some rain about a week and a bit ago. And it's just starting to flush again, so what we'll do is get these into condition nicely before the ram is introduced. And a good percentage of these Jacob sheep do have twins. Some have triplets, which they've raised very successfully fighting the rabbits for the grazing in here. Yes, I know you're all on your own. Lovely looking sheep, Jacobs. Beautifully marked, some of these. Particularly like that brown and white one. But the pure browns are quite striking as well. A lot of the farmers around here, when they're showing, particularly Texels and Texel crosses, stain them in a, a browny yellow fashion to show them. These sheep need none of that. They're naturally good looking. Far prettier than Texels as well, the heads on these. But not as good at the butchery, I'm afraid. And slow to mature. So you're never going to give a Texel a run for a money at the butchers. But that does mean they get to enjoy the grazing here until they're at least 18 months old. Well, that's me just about finished filming for today. Sun setting here. It's getting earlier and earlier as we proceed in towards autumn and middle of September. But hopefully that sky is a precursor for another beautiful day tomorrow in the garden. So do join me then.